My name is Jimmy Rabin. I'm the Director of Product Management for Fortify SSC and Tools and Fortify On Demand. And I'm excited today to show off our uh, latest IDE plugin, Visual Studio Code. So um, let's start with installation. Um, if we pop over into the extensions menu here uh, for VS Code, um, you'll be able to search directly from the marketplace uh, once this is released uh, in about a week. I'm recording this about a week before our release date on the 17th. So for now, I'm installing from V6. Um, but once you've installed uh, from the marketplace by searching Fortify, you'll see the Fortify logo show up here. Um, if you were to click that, you'll see we have three different tasks. Uh, we're going to cover the static code analyzer local execution of SCA and the uh, remote execution of a remote SCA scan via Scan Central um, in today's video. Uh, we'll cover the Fortify On Demand um, task in a separate video. Um, so let's start with local SCA. So let's take a quick look. Um, quick note, if you have SCA installed on this machine, um, then you will already have uh, the path most likely configured. Um, but if it's not, you can simply browse here and choose the location of where Source Analyzer is right, and put that uh, right there. Um, you are required to specify a build ID for to associate the translated files uh, when we run the scan. Um, you can specify the output file or open this to a different location. You can clearly see the SCA log location. Um, we have the ability to add both translation arguments and SCA analysis phase or scan um, phase arguments. Um, these are expected to be on one line. And then a next command that's expected to be on the next line. So each parameter put on each directive put on a different line. Um, and that goes the same for the SCA options. And you can add any translation or scanning options that you would like. Um, you also have the ability to update the security content. And we'll call Fortify Update and check for the rules as well. Um, but essentially, um, if you have some code open, and I do have a file open here, I am going to run a scan. So let's kick it off. All right, we get our first message here. The uh, first step in any Fortify SCA scan is to clean the build ID to ensure any old NSTs previously translated are done. So that is being done and it's complete. Next is the translation phase. All right, and we receive a message that the translation phase uh, has been completed. We have uh, translated our JavaScript files and associated it with the build ID of demo. And the next step will be to run the actual analysis step. And uh, then we will receive a notification when that is complete. And we can go look at our results. All right. We can see that the execution of the analysis phase is complete, or scanning phase is complete. And we can see that we have the FPR path. Um, on Windows, you can go ahead and click Open. And on a Mac, like I am, we can simply go look at this directory. So if we were to go and go to Folder, we can go here, and there's our output.fpr. We can now open this up, and we can open this up with Audit Workbench and view the results. Uh, in the first phase of our VS Code plugin, we focused on the scanning side of, um, uh, of the workflow. Um, so we're not consuming the results directly. Uh, so you will need to open the result or scan file in Audit Workbench. Um, and we'll go ahead and let this open up, and we can see the results of our scan. All right, we have some issues to go address. Um, so if we go back into Visual Studio Code, now I'm going to take you through the Scan Central SAS task. All right, now let's turn our attention to the Scan Central SAS uh, task. So this um, task is specifically um, tailored to uploading your source code um, and the dependencies in the folder that you have open in Visual Studio Code uh, to be scanned remotely by Scan Central um, on your premises, but on a dedicated machine um, with a you know, copy of SCA or worker uh, that can perform the scan for you and return that to SSC. Um, so you have, uh, we need to know the location of your Scan Central executable. If you've installed Fortify SCA, this is obviously running the path as before. Um, you can just browse to it um, and you can specify it right there. Um, if you would like to specify it directly, there's Scan Central right there. 
we've already got it there. Um, we have two options for connecting to the controller, um, which is a component of Scan Central, which is going to route the package to the appropriate copy or version of SCA uh, for the scan. Um, we are uh, using the direct option here where we just choose the controller URL and then put it directly. Um, alternatively, you can use the SSC URL um, and the SSC uh, Scan Central controller token. And uh, if you t paste that value in there, then we will authenticate to SSC and obtain the controller information that way. Um, but uh, the controller URL works pretty well. Um, so I'm just then going to choose to upload my scan results to SSC. Um, in the first version, we are not creating the application and version if it doesn't exist. So this does need to already exist um, in Software Security Center. So you'll need to log into SSC and create an application and version uh, or do so via the API or with one of our utilities. Um, later versions will likely add the ability to automatically create a version if it doesn't exist. Um, then we have uh, the continuous integration token that we need, or CI token, uh, CI token type in SSC. Um, again, quick reminder, administration, token, management, generate the CI token, and you can paste it in here. Um, and then we have some additional options where we can add additional translation options. Same rules apply, each directive per line. Um, you have the same thing for scanning options as well. You'll notice we have both translation and scanning options because we are doing uh, the both the translation phase and scan phase on the remote server. So all that's occurring here is packaging um, and then your log location. So let's go ahead and click scan. All right, we get our first message that the execution um, seeding into the directory um, to obtain the arguments was done. And uh, that's all there is to it. Um, so we were able to execute um, the scan central command that you see here. All, right, all the way to there. You can see we're using the build tool as none uh, to recursively grab all of your source code and dependencies in that uh, current directory that you have open or the folder that you have open in Visual Studio Code and provide that to scan central. All right. Um, and if we take a look at our log, we are going to see that we have received a successful token, right? So that uh, we can use the CLI at this point if we're interested in just the status of the job, but uh, the scan will be finished and uploaded to SSC. Um, and any alerts that you have set would, would apply there. Um, and even uh, the new feature we have um, with webhooks in SSC could potentially provide a call back. And we'll definitely look for uh, feedback from the user community of what features you guys would like to see uh, in later versions, um, but things like uh, bringing the results back via the API, things that we do in our other extensions are things that we're kind of thinking about as we evolve this. Uh, hopefully, um, the first version of the Visual Studio Code plugin for Fortify is um, meets your needs, and uh, thanks for uh, listening.